Battles and Effects, Gonculator, DoD, Digitech. Here we go. Four of them. Nick? So I was just like farting around at my house today and I was like, whoa, I have four different versions of the DoD Gonculator. Uh, there's the OG, there's the iStomp, the infamous iStomp version, there's Mantix Gonker that they released and did a very limited run of, and then there was the newer Gonkula DoD Gonculator reissue ring mod. And I just think it's funny, like, basically, these all sound the exact same. I mean, there's very, very minor differences between them, uh, but it's just like, it's so dorky, like, I don't, why do I have four of them? It's silly. And look at the price tag on this one. How much is it? What would you guess? Is $99. It, I paid $149.95 in Seattle Fuck. for this one, for the original one. And it was, I don't know, I shouldn't have done that. It was a waste. Uh, the new one, the, the new one is the king. It does, it's the best one. It's the most well built and it's got a tunable uh, ring mod. You can actually tune the note to it. So, and then the eye stomp, did, I, do you ever, do you ever have one of those? I want to say yes, but I don't remember when I got it and I don't have them anymore. So uh, um, They came in black and Tom, right. Tom, I think I had the black one. Tom gave me his white one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But so the, you know, the deal with this old eye stomp, uh, it takes this crazy ass cable and right. you could only use it with the iPhone 4. That's what the cable... So That's why you still have your iPhone 4. I do have an iPhone 4, but yeah. I don't have the cable anymore. And anyways, uh, what you would do is, you know, plug it in. This is archaic technology now. And then you could load other pedals onto this. And so I got this when I still had a functioning iPhone 4. And so I loaded... Before I had any of these, I loaded the gonculator onto this. So this is my first gonculator. Uh, the gonker was my second one. The reissue was my third, and then I completed the collection with this. And there's probably more around people, you know, might might be able to reference who else has done. Uh, Does it sound like these. a ring modulator? Do these sound like a ring modulator? This is like the only ring mod I've like I've ever really known. I don't know what's that. That's a ring mod, right? The Maestro is a ring modulator, but it doesn't sound like those. But I guess the, these are like. These are like remods with a fuzz. So the original one, this guy, is supposed to be a ring mod with a grunge pedal, the DoD grunge, which is just like, you know, the, whatever. We've talked about this before. But these old DoDs, the reason they're pricey now is because everyone's going after them. You, shout out to americaspedals.net, I believe is the website. They've got a really, really good history of like all old weird pedals and stuff and really neat like little facts about them and stuff. But they're kind of my go-to place for reading up on the old DoD stuff. But anyways, it was just like, you know, the black sheep and so no one wanted it anymore. Now all that shit's cool, the buzz box, the meat box, gonculator. And so anyways, yeah, it was just like the dorky grunge pedal um, with a ring mod in it. And I'm like, I guess... This, the original one's claim to fame is there's a fucking Incubus song that uses this, like, prominently. Rad. Rad? rad? I don't know that band, so I don't know. I don't know about <laughs> Rad, but may, maybe. I don't know. I guess I don't know Incubus either. He's flaming the fuck. Anyways, we'll just show these to you. We're not going to go in depth. Yeah, so how do, how do you suggest that, or how are we going to go about, like, just, just listening to all four? I mean, I'm just going to, like... Whatever. I just thought it'd be kind of funny to show yeah. that they, it's the difference will be negligible, and it. it doesn't matter. Like okay. get get whatever one is available. This is going to be the one you're going to want because this is going away probably. I think I feel like they stopped manufacturing this reissue, and you know it's, maybe it's 150 bucks new or something like that. Maybe maybe a little more, but that this is the one you want out of all of these. You can't get this one anymore. Can't get this one anymore. And this one's 150 bucks for an old crappy DoD pedal. That shitty. Uh, AC input? No, it's does, got does, does no it, no. The, pin? This this era of DODs had oh, the okay. had the nine volt the proper okay. nine volt okay. barrel, but um, wow, that's but, crazy. I would have thought it would have been a pin. That's well, funny. when you're on these ones, right? Okay. This wow. era. So they, I don't know what year this is. This is '96. This one must have been a little bit before that because it's a pin. It's the pin yeah, that sucks. Annoying. Right? Yeah. So also. Uh, the, this is like an early 96 and the later 96 actually says ring mod right there. It says like ring modulator or something. So whatever, not that that matters. Who cares? All right. So, but yeah, so I don't know. We'll just like, I'll just show you. I'll try and get the exact same sound out of each one just to be dorky. Boom. All right. So here's the deal. So we'll check out the original one. I just have this set to whatever, but the original one is hard tuned. The ring mod is hard tuned. So this is what the actual ring mod sound is out of this guy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. Uh, let's go to this one. So, actually, I tuned on this null switch. That's how you tune the ring mod on the new one, which none of these uh, uh, another, none of these can actually do. So, actually, I tuned this ring mod reissue to what the Mantic ring mod was tuned to. So, check out the Mantic one. Same riff on this one. Same thing, right? But check this out. I'll, now I'll show you what you can... I mean, we've done a video on this so you can hear it already, but... And you can take, you know, obviously you could take the uh, grunge pedal all the way out. So that was the big deal with the reissue, right? But uh, I think... Let's see. Now we'll show you this one. The, now, in theory, this one should have been very... It is very similar to this, but it is not tuned to the same sound. You can hear it when I hit a C. It, like, is nice and, like, thick. Now let's do this old guy. Oh, it's pretty close. It's very close. This one is like a little nicer sounding. This one's like a kind of a little uh, gritty or whatever. But I think the point of this is just like, you know, they're all basically very, very similar sounds. Just kind of each one is tuned slightly different, right? But the new one, you know, you can just get, get whatever tuning out of it. So I don't know. Here, what about this? What does it sound like on bass? Probably similar. You know what I should point out as wow, well? Mantic has an expression option as well. Well, that's cool, but sorry, those are gone. The gonk yeah. doesn't have that, right? No, not, that no one, one has that. No, no wow, new one doesn't have it. Yeah, so I'm here to tell you, any of those gonculators are gonna stoke you out, okay? Stoke. Yeah, so just, if you find any of those, I'd say except the old one, I wouldn't fuck around with $150 for the old one. What if it was $49.99? If you find one of those in a pawn shop in like Kansas somewhere, just pick it up. For, for $49.99. $49.99 worth it.